chugga chugga chug choo choo thanks thanks for carrying me on that <laughs> dude really glad carrying you on love train I was really afraid you were just going to tell me I was an idiot and then just look at me I was expecting it more from you than me I would have humored him more than you. And that's I'll humor him every once in a while. All right, just every once in a while. Yeah, uh, if you want to see moments of him not humoring Simon, not humoring Simon, caged. odd odd phrasing. Uh, caged. See caged episode two. That's... We're already plugging that. We just started, and we're already plugging <laughs> have, our yeah. other series. Yeah, I haven't really... even said that this is. Derailed. derailed. I'm yeah, really bad derailed. about plugging our other shit for some reason. <laughs> it's brutal. Anyway, this is derailed. <laughs> if you haven't gathered that yet, our podcast we where just we talk just about talk whatever. about stuff and interrupt each other, you know. Yeah, it yeah. yeah. gets derailed. Oh fuck! You know, I forgot what? what my clipboard. I need to take notes. <laughs> I need to take notes oh, of everything yeah. we talk about. Why don't about. you just take them on your phone? I'll just do it on my yeah, phone. Yeah, do it on your phone. Okay. So throughout this episode, I'll be keeping track of everything we talk about, and then we'll recap it at the end, so we can see where all we got derailed. I did like that last time. Yeah, was, yeah, that was pretty fun. Pilot. Yeah. yeah. Whatever experimental episode we did. Yeah, the I did like it. The conductor yeah. episode. The conductor episode. Yeah. But well, we need a good topic to start us out. So, uh, oh, pick a number between five. one and ten. I want to. <laughs> you didn't even I, let him finish. I knew what he was going with. I, uh, I know. I said five. It's two. It's two. Yeah. Okay. So it might have helped had I picked a number first. <laughs> Simon. <laughs> but I, okay. Let's do this again. You can't pick the same number. Okay. What? Because because if I pick a number, then I'm automatically leaning towards someone. Okay. Hurry up. Okay. I'm going to do between one and twenty, so he gives you more range. Okay. Six. Okay. 13. Dakota was closer. Damn. I picked 11. Oh, nice. Now pick Scoff a you. number. Actually, I can't. Simon, Simon, why am I doing all this number stuff why on this are... podcast? Because <laughs> it's our uh, math podcast. Oh, this is our math podcast. I'm going kinda... to do a random number generator. Okay. Because... You do it, you're doing it now? <laughs> You're doing it now. I'm doing it right now. Man. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, listeners. This okay. Jesus. Well, Google has a one that just pops up right there, so we're good. Okay, that's neat. Well, I didn't want you, because Adam Sandler reoccurringly pops up as number seven. We think of six different topics, and then Adam Sandler is always, <laughs> is always number, number seven. seven. Oh, and if, like seven? Yeah. Adam Sandler was always going to stay at seven. I But I typically pick two. I know. It's like my go-to. Number. That's the problem. Like, there's no chance Adam Sandler would get picked if I get let you pick a number. I don't want to seven. talk about Adam Sandler. I know that's the problem. <laughs> I don't want. I don't to. know. So I need I need the random number generator. Okay. So this completely uh, for you guys picking a number between one and twenty just just erase the need for that. Like, I don't say you should set because like, it's just the number winner. I don't for say because this, this, this is I'm how I pick I my won. numbers. I never try to pick the bottom most number, and I never go for the top most. So you number. try to go middle. Or just, yeah. Because you picked not the bottom. I guess you picked top. six I, this yeah. time. Okay. I usually try to go middle of the road or a little bit higher or lower. I like even numbers a lot. When oh, I, I really love even numbers. Yeah. Just. No, it's even better. Two. Two. Because that's an even number. Right. I, that's like, like my go-to number. When, when I have to pick something, I'm always like two. When I turn up like volume on TVs, stereo, stuff like that, it's got to stay on even numbers. I can live with a number five. Yeah. That's five is okay because you can do five, ten, 15, 15, 20. 20. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, I don't okay. like seven or 13. Seven is weird. Yeah. Yeah. I guess I could live with nine, but it's not it's ideal. Nine, it's, nine's on thin ice, I would yeah. say. Well, it's a multiplicative of three. Three. So, yeah. yeah. If you're okay with three, you should be okay with nine. Right. But. Mm. So what's our topic, Simon? We've been talking yeah, about, about talking numbers. About talking about numbers. numbers. Okay, let's see what happens. Talking about a derailer already. Well, <laughs> Adam it's uh, singing Shine Down songs. Singing Shine. Pulled up number one. Why right. is this our topic? Yeah, why is when that? When did our... this happen? Because we sang uh, you, Crows and yeah. the Butterfly. Butterfly. You guys wouldn't oh, help me think of a topic. I, I, so I thought I that was, was just, just a one off thing. We do that a lot. We'll be like, hey, remember that song? Sing it together for like 
10 seconds and then just immediately abandon it. That's because yeah. we only sing the parts we remember, which is like the m- chorus. Yeah, because I know fuck all about Shinedown. Yeah, I personally don't know a lot. Well, like, we, we, and the person that would know the most about Shinedown isn't Cody. here. Yeah, Cody's not oh, here. Okay. All oh. speaking of, I'm Simon. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Dakota. <laughs> I'm Simon. Man, starting off strong already. Yeah, this has been pretty rough. <laughs> We've been too mm. busy like trying to come up with a topic and not saying who we are. It's like the crow and the butterfly. Jeez, Jeez. don't sing that for longer than I, ten I know, seconds. I know you purposely butchered it even harder than you yeah, usually I did. do. But why? Why'd you pick Shine Down though? Yeah, well, we were just talking about it. We needed a topic. That's so, so but, weird though. We just We're, <laughs> none of us listen to them. It's I used no to problem. listen to Shine Down a lot. I just can't remember any of their songs. That doesn't uh, help. Not like the Tyler Watt got me into Shine Down. Oh, uh, yeah. he did. Yeah, I, I thought he would have tried to get you into Hollywood and Dead because he might have talked about them. But around oh. middle school, he was big into oh. Shine Down. I know middle school, and I think it was also when he was still in high school. He was. Hollywood Undead with uh, his friend Zach. They I think just... Fox told me about Hollywood Undead. Well, I know. Well, he probably a little bit, but I heard a lot from Tyler and Zach about Hollywood Undead. That was like their group I've... for a while there. I've not really listened to them either. I haven't either. No, I haven't ever, either. ever since whenever that was, I haven't heard them yeah, ever like what, again. What genre are they exactly? Are They're they like rock? Zombie? Punk rock? They're like rap. They're though. in the same genre as Rob Zombie. Oh, that it actually explains oh, why is that I haven't ac- listened. Wait, is that an actual genre of like? What's, are you what's, just fucking? I thought Rob Zombie was like metal. Yeah. Oh, like, like heavy is. rock. Oh, that reminds me. You guys remember when we had a? Uh, it was one of our Cisco classes, and it was oh, Jiffy and the other dude, Lucas Kidder, were watching like the Rob Zombie movie. Rob Zombie movie. Yeah, like it was the oh, animated one. The yeah. animated one. Okay. Yeah, I remember like looking over and just watching these really wild scenes. I, like I like, almost forgot about that. Yeah, it's kind of something I just kind of like buried in the back of my mind. And then you hear the trigger word Rob Zombie, zombie. and you're, yeah, like, you're like, oh yeah, that yeah. movie. <laughs> yeah, I know fuck all about Rob Zombie, but I vividly remember this movie. I'm, I'm just trying to remember the one song that I like of his. It's just, Did he sing Bodies Hit the Floor? No, that, no. that was corn. That's corn. Was that corn? I think that's corn. What are Rob huh. Zombie songs? I just know the one who goes, yeah, <laughs> yeah, for like an hour straight. <laughs> what? Yeah. Why is a song an hour long? Oh, it's not actually an hour long, but okay. it's like the, well, like that was the a main bit thing of like this song is. Yeah. See, my problem is, is when you tell yeah. me a song's like an hour long, I'm almost half convinced <laughs> to believe you because, what was it? Uh, this is a bit off topic. R. Kelly did like four or five parts of Trapped in the Closet. What? It's long. What? Let me double I didn't check know that. that. Yeah. How I just know uh, a little bump and grind. <laughs> I didn't know there was four or five parts to uh, Trapped in the don't Closet. Don't tell me to that, but... Well, just the fact that there could be multiple parts to it is yeah. crazy. Yeah, Trapped okay. in the Closet, Chapter 1. Let yeah, how, me... many, how many chapters are there? That's what I'm about to find out. Because if there's... <laughs> there's... Chapter 2, Chapter 3, Chapter 4, Chapter 5, Chapter 6. What? That's all Trapped in the Closet? Is that like, is the album called like Trapped in the Closet? And like I don't each one know. Is like it just a says... Song in the... I've like that actually be pretty good actually. I would, would be, be all right with that. Yeah, I um, just know the South no, Park episode. No, it's like R. Kelly trapped in the closet. Full story is what I have pulled up on YouTube right now. Hmm. Um, various length songs, but what, like one's like three and the other one's like eight, something like that. Yeah, well, you got a couple three four minute songs, oh, okay. like a two minute song. One of them's like six. There you go. All right. Yeah. See, I'm I'm comfortable with those like five minute long songs. That's that's mine. Yeah. And they're all Vivo, so I have hmm. no reason not to believe that. So I'm trying to find Rob Zombie songs uh that you guys would know and the I The problem I, is, is we don't. <laughs> I just can't remember that one song's name. One is called uh where did it go? Pussy Liquor. Not uh, liquor, wait, but liquor. Wait, 
wait, liqueur. I'm, liqueur. liqueur. I'm, oh, I'm remembering bits and pieces of the lyrics, and I can't. All oh, is a song where well, everybody's in... fucking in a UFO. <laughs> what? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Rob Zombie. What an absolute mad lad. Werewolf women of the SS. <laughs> what? Right. You have my attention. Mm-hmm. Rob Zombie. All right. Oh, it's it's in it's in there. Teenage thinking. Nosferatu pussy. <laughs> Can you pull up the lyrics for that one? <laughs> yes, I can. Oh, Please. My God. We went from Shine Down to Teenage Nose for Octopus. <laughs> yeah. I am Shadow. I am Tomorrow. I am a hero with a buggy whip. I am so hazardous. My name is Lazarus. I am a pirate on a devil ship. Teenage right. Nose for Pussy. There turn it go. on. Turn it on. <laughs> Teenage Nose for Pussy. Turn it on. Turn it on. Is that the chorus? That's the, apparently the chorus. I am the sickness. I am the quickness. I am a virgin dying in the spring. A hungry fat cat. Look at the black rat. I am a dark and wicked thing. Teenage Nosferatu pussy. Turn it on. Turn it on. Teenage Nosferatu pussy. Turn it on. Turn it on. What you gonna do in my head? Turn yourself around in my head. Everybody scream Wait, in my head. I think the I walls just, are melting in my head. I, I think I just remembered a part of the lyrics. And it was like, more human than human, I think, was like a part of the lyrics yeah, for um, actually, the song I was thinking of. He was like, more human than human. While you were mentioning I it, I, I was actually I looking it up. Were you? I got distracted by, by Teenage Nosferatu Pussy. pussy. Um, I, I yeah, the song, the first result is more human than human. Hey. It's like nine years old. Yeah, that's the song that, that's the one song I know. And that's a very loose term of me knowing that song. Right, as you've just spent the past five minutes trying was, to figure it I, out. Oh, I had to like <laughs> run it through my head and I was like, ah, I got to the chorus. What did he say? What was he? More that, ah, <laughs> more <laughs> human than human. <laughs> that's that's what. Uh, that was it. So how are the lyrics looking? And that was it. That, that was went it. back to the chorus. Uh, okay. I don't. I wanted more from that. Like, <laughs> I got something, but I mean, if you're in the mood for more pussy, we can go to pussy liquor, liqueur. Sorry, no, liqueur. no, no. We gotta keep it uh, clean. Give me a P. B. Give me a A. Give me a B. Give me a Y. What's that spell? What's that spell? What's that spell? What does Baby. it? Oh, <laughs> I was like, I wasn't paying attention. Actually, I was like, what does that spell? All Earl right. had a baby. Baby was her name. He knew she was crazy. Tiny was the same. Down behind the shed, slaughtering the hog. Slice along the belly, feed it to the dog. Oh. Huh. One, two, three. Who should I kill? Every motherfucker running up the hill. One, two, three. <laughs> what should I do? Get fucked up and fuck up you. <laughs> Huh. Huh. That's about right. That's what I expected from the last song. That, that's what I expect from a guy called Rob Zombie. That's He's in a true metal too. Uh, Wait, his name's Rob Zombie, and the group's Rob Zombie, right? I could The Rob tell Zombie you. Experience. The Rob Zombie Experience. I yeah. could. I'm tell you that up. Honestly. It's like, uh, I R- mean, not What's comparing it? Rob Zombie to What's his actual Dio name? or anything, but. His name's Dio. Dio. <laughs> yeah. I mean, um, his name's Dio, and the group's called Dio. So yeah, he, he was burn, burn, Burned. born. Burned. Rob Zombie was born. Robert. He probably was Bartle. Robert Cummings. Bartlett. Cummings. Huh. Oh. All right. Oh, his band was White Zombie. White Zombie. Close enough. And then he. <laughs> Not really. He released four <laughs> studio albums with the band. He is the older brother of Spider One, lead vocalist for the American rock band Power Man Five Thousand. Spider One. Spider One. It's like some like Destiny character or something. Spider One. He's also known as Rob Straker. Spider One. Rob Striker. Straker, not oh, Striker. 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 Okay, dude. Huh. All right. I Rob. didn't know that. I I don't know what to do with any of this information. Uh, Write a book. Well, there we go. Book. Write a book. There you go. I'll make a movie about make it. A movie about the Rob Zombie experience. 
And the one song I know, More Human Than Human. Well, now you know of uh, uh, Teenage Nosferatu Pussy. Oh, yeah. Yep. I, I almost I, I already 10. forgot about it. <laughs> mm-hmm. Teenage Nosferatu. Now I just want to listen well, to Rob Zombie songs just to see if they sound like is, how I imagine like, them. It almost, they probably will. Mm. My mind is processing it as like almost like the same thing as Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. No, not quite. But my, my, my mind at first was like teenage, and I was like teenage mutant ninja turtles. <laughs> and teenage then my brain nose is for a to pussy. Right. Teenage nose for a rat to pussy. Then that's what my brain was doing, and I was teenage like mutant nose for a rat to pussy. Teenage mutant nose for a rat to pussy. And um, that's what my brain was doing, and I was like, that's not right. What, what, what would replace turtle in a half shell? Uh, what, what would? <laughs> I. <laughs> I want to say Vampire in Alabia, but I don't think that's... <laughs> vampire in Alabia. Alabia. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm good with that one. All uh, right, but that's uh, what was happening in my brain over here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, see, I've made that connection too, but I didn't you know, go, go quite as far as you did with it. I was like, oh, that's, that's close to it, but nah. I uh, uh. <laughs> I love it. I love it a lot. Uh, I looked at the lyrics too. Well, everybody's fucking in a UFO. All right. Mm, Rob Zombie, dude. This is the story of the one-eyed wolf called the honey of super doom. She rode her five-legged beast in a mirrored bikini right out of the womb. They chased each other Ooh. with the steam and knives. Screaming oil is in my veins. And then she grabbed a big old pipe. She smoked up some fine old monkey brains. Get on it. Huh. Now, some say that one-eyed wolf owned midget who was almost 10 feet tall. She spray-painted UFOs are real in the rubble on the Berlin Wall. So, finally, on that fateful day, they went looking for a Superman, singing, I'm going to get my 20 bucks in a vacation in Japan. Look out. Well, everybody, 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 everybody's fucking in a UFO. Well, everybody, 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 everybody's fucking in a UFO. Get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. Okay. I mean, there's so, f- two more verses, but. So, uh. That's a lot. That's a lot to I'm unpack. Not, some of these what? songs I can pick up a story from. I have no idea what, what? the hell he's talking it's a about wild here. Time. Though I guess what? I didn't understand the other two songs either. What? <laughs> I. What? <laughs> I don't know. I. I usually it's like some like rock songs they're talking about like the inequality between like the classes and stuff like that just having yeah. a good time that i don't know what the fuck I, that I was all about or yeah, i mean there's the occasional one where there is like a story in there as well but i just want to be in his mind was... when he was writing these like what the hell? Oh, I mean, he was probably... He was he might fucking on a UFO. A <laughs> That's what he was yeah. doing. <laughs> this is the story of how he got uh, he fucking, abducted and probed. He fucking shoved his head in his own shit and started sniffing, dude. That's what he did. Do <laughs> you think that's what happened? I think it was just like methane a, overdose. With, with a lot of coke and God knows what else. How How do you come up with that on like a clean mind? You don't. <laughs> you do not. <laughs> I'm you I'm still not. processing these lyrics. I I just don't think you can process them anymore I because just, you just gotta let it go. See, and I bet people were like, "Don't hold it back anymore." I bet people were like Thank freaking you. their shit. Turn when, away and slam the door. <laughs> man, don't care what people say. And the cold has never bothered you anyway. Oh, gee. I was wondering where the fuck you were going with that. Yeah. No, I knew. <laughs> I'm not humoring this one. <laughs> Go fuck yourself with that. I, I, I haven't watched Frozen. I haven't thought about it in a long a time. While. A long time. Yeah, I've been giving it the cold shoulder. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> it's fuck no, off. Seriously, the last time I watched it... Uh, I think the DVD froze. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you're on thin ice. <laughs> <laughs> the bow of you. 
Were you even trying to make a joke there? Or that, that was the joke. Okay. <laughs> that was the joke. I, wonder you I had like... to make it serious, though, so you wouldn't automatically tell me to shut up. <laughs> so I had to make you, like, I had to engross you in the story and then just rip your hearts in half. I had to, I had to get you dedicated to this story I was telling for two seconds and then mm. immediately just throw it in your face. <laughs> yep. <laughs> God damn. Uh. So we oh, made man. it from Shine Down to Frozen. <laughs> with, <laughs> Shine Down with Rob Zombie, zombie. then Frozen. Right. That, that's that's what this <laughs> That's what this story is telling us so far. Oh my God. How do we get there? I, I don't <laughs> oh I, I don't know. We, I mean you'll see it in the recap. Yeah, probably. we will. Actually probably not. No, because you're know. just gonna it's recap this. It's yeah. gonna be Shine Down Rob Zombie. Be frozen. Actually, Ghost no, there's, little, there's, there's a little bit of... There's a little other things in there's there. There's a little bit of R. Kelly, like, mm-hmm. oh, sprayed in there. Just yeah. like, you know, when he... Sprinkled on top. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Sprayed on there, yeah, I got yeah, that Yeah, one. I bet you did. Oh, yeah, I did get that one. You get one. <laughs> was that a pee joke? <laughs> that was. That, that was a pee, a pee joke. joke. Uh, I should have said trickled in. Fuck me. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, she wanted to get peed on. Yeah, that, that whole situation's real weird. Dude. Boondocks got it right. <laughs> Dude, the Boondocks is one of my favorite shows, and I'm upset that it doesn't run anymore. <sighs> well, they still play it on Adult Swim, right? I haven't watched Adult Swim in quite well, a while. Sure. I've been, I've been yeah, meaning to I've sit down and it. like binge the Boondocks. Oh, I would be down. God, because just Huey's my favorite. Huey. Uh, I like everything. Oh yeah, everything about it. well. The way that it's blown up, I should say. Right. Um. <laughs> Not the fact that they just. Right. They, their terminology there's, is a little in there yeah. sometimes with some characters. Yeah. You know. Um. There's a lot of social like satire in there. And there's a shit ton of social <laughs> satire, satire in and it's there. real good. Um, like I didn't like they did like a lot of like uh, jokes on like topical events at the time yeah. as well. Yeah. Yeah, um, I always Which, remember man. the bit they did they, on... They tried to kidnap uh, Bill Cosby. They did. <laughs> there was also an episode dedicated to Martin Luther King Jr. Oh. Come, like, what he had, like, he had came he, back. He came back. back. Yeah. Like, he didn't get shot. Well, or he, he I'm didn't trying to die. remember. He was shot, but I don't think he died. I think he was in a coma or something. Something. Yeah, you know, like he came back and people like didn't care about him. Right, they didn't care about his stance on <laughs> anymore or something, and it made him really sad. Yeah, yeah. Which I mean, wasn't like I was already super sad about Martin Luther King, but it made me even more sad, sad about Martin right. Luther King. Uh, what else? Do you remember the boy? Man, that's... that that could be pretty deep if you look at it. Like his message now would just mean jack shit. Right. I think that's compared kind to of... back in. Oh. I think that's what. Oof. Yeah, I think that's what the show was going for. Because in a sense, his message was received and we've pursued it. Yeah. But I think it's just we haven't kind of pursued it to the extent that he wanted us to. True. So, um, just to get off of a heavy topic, uh, my favorite bit is the boy that stole his grandma's car. Oh. Yeah, to get like... Dude. Yeah, the thug <laughs> child thing. The thug child. I <laughs> love the Still one of my thing. favorites. Yeah. Still one of my favorites. Yeah, they threw a lot of those like they did. in there. Like the the white teacher who said like the N word to one of his students. Yeah. And while the reporter interviewing him was uh, like a black woman, so it was like, ooh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like in the actual like um news recording of it, it's like, yeah. And he said, yeah. I just said inward and then he's like there's a hard cut to like the reporter she's just unimpressed <laughs> so impressed and so he's like holding up a diagram between the hard r and like the not hard r right i was like oh, oh. what made you think that was a good idea <laughs> what <laughs> it's <laughs> that show is so good ah oh, i'm missing. guessing you haven't watched it simon no no <laughs> It's it's wild. <laughs> the black man who hates Who's, black people. Yeah. I've heard about him. Yeah. Uncle Ruckus. A wild character from just Which I think it's funny cuz Ethan likes Uncle Ruckus. <laughs> like, so I'm like what? I think he just likes how like over the top he is. But it's just <sighs> Huh? Huh? <laughs> 
Which if you know I, Ethan, it's, it's like the opposite like, of Ethan. I know, right? Right. <laughs> um, Ethan's oh. obviously one of our friends, so <laughs> it's just. Yeah. I I like oh uh, what's big butts, and I cannot lie. Um, Thugnificent. <laughs> oh, pimp Nate slump back. Pimp name slump back. <laughs> um, I was about Don't to say, say like Mister Slump back. No, no, no. It's a pimp, pimp name slump, slump back. back. Had to say the full thing. But I like the lawyer, dude. He's oh, always uh, he's Tom. My, yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, he's I like the, remember his name. He can't the, remember actors for shit. Man, <laughs> I remember characters. Um, actually, on the topic of actors in that show, uh, Samuel L. Jackson did a couple voice roles. He did. He, he, did, he played a, a white, white dude. dude. What? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. And it, it, like takes a, a, it takes a minute to like put two and two together. Yeah, I know. Because you hear him and you're like, excuse it's, me. He's not black in it. Right. He's a ginger. What? Yeah. yeah it's like the like, opposite. I know, yeah. right? <laughs> pale, pale dude with red hair. You're like, All right. Sam Jackson? <laughs> Did he at least have an eye patch? No. No. Mm. No. He, that, no, he rolled Sam around Jackson, with, anyway. I forget who the other dude was. I don't know if it was voiced by anyone important. I don't, no offense to them, but I mean. Right. Um, oh. There's also like a comic of that show as well. Really? Yeah. I, I didn't know there was a I comic. I got bored and was like, I wonder what's going on with the boondocks. And I think there, there is a comic of it, if hmm. I'm not mistaken. Let me double check that. A comic of the boondocks. Yeah. And I think it goes. It's little, called the boondocks. <laughs> <laughs> the booning the booning the booning boondocks was a daily syndicated comic strip written and, uh, and originally drawn by aaron mcgruder that ran from 1996 to 2006 okay yeah and a really online to okay so the... it started as a comic yeah i guess okay. it ran and here then i'll show it you a it'll series. do best to show you this because Largely the same. Yeah, more or less. Yeah. yeah. Largely the same with Huey and Riley and uh, Jasmine, I think, was the neighbor girl. Yeah. Yeah. Was. Usually they tried. I mean, they don't try, but usually right. there might be differences between like source material yeah. and how they're portrayed in like the TV show. Same with like anime. Yeah. Which I know JoJo, they've stuck to the source fairly well if i recall um, guys do you hear that well what is it simon do you hear that dude i oh. i tune trains out well it's a derailer how do we end off off the rails this time how did we get derailed uh, this, this time, time. there were like said. 18 bodies laying in on the rail oh was there <laughs> Well, at least the bodies we... hit the rails. Oh. Well, at least they're they're all right, right? <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> that's right. how we got derailed. They're not all right oh. now. They're not. I all thought right. it was like the train tried to stop and it went off the nope. rails. No, so oh. the conductor was asleep. How did we oh. get derailed? How do we get derailed? Yeah, what derailed us this time, Simon? Well, our derailer is a random question that pops up and derails the conversation we are currently having. Okay. Right now, I just made this one, but if you want to submit a derailer to us. Send it to jadedgents at gmail.com with the subject line derailer. Or post in the comments. Or post in the comments. I would yeah. think that email would work fairly better. I mean, yeah, but I, then it's, it's directly to us. Right. We don't have to search for it. Right. right. We'll still look at the comments, but anything that comes directly to us is just there and higher, we're lazy. But comments higher also, probability. Yeah. yeah. Comments also kind of cuts out the middleman a little it bit does. too. Okay. This Let's, one's a little interesting because I just had this thought. If you had to put a pineapple in your butt, how would you do it? Oh. <laughs> this is what... Uh, now, I'm not going to give you guidelines of how you have to get it in there. How uh, would you get it in? Um, uh, obviously, like, the leaf part that's going in last. So okay. it's at the bottom of it okay. first. So you're that's, doing the big wait, bottom we, first and then yeah, the, the, big the leafy part. Are we so you're using it like a handle. Yeah. Okay. Are yeah. we talking a whole pineapple? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, can I chop what, it up? So? Am I allowed to go that route? Yeah. Oh fuck! Nope, you're you're a big girl. <laughs> yeah, oh, because fuck. I just I'm not. <laughs> See, in this situation, Simon already had the pineapple in his butt, and because of like I'm just going to dice this I, thing. I'm oh just no! Dice this. Well, 
Oh no! Yeah, yeah, you really. It's like that old joke. Oh no! no. <laughs> right, I guess I'm just kind of. It's like find whatever fruit and then you can. Oh yeah, you have to put it in your butt. Yeah. That's oh my god. Yeah, I don't. I it's guess so dumb. chop it up and just kind of like be gentle with myself mm. until I'm full. I don't know. So, so that, that's yours. Yeah. So Simon's going in full. Oh. Dakota's chopping it up. I'm going to put it in a blender and do it as an enema. Oh, huh. Yeah. I mean, that's a smarter way to do it, but why? Because it's, I don't have to put little chunks of pineapple in my butt. I can just squirt it up in there and then it'll come back out and I'm done. Fair enough. <laughs> I, I felt you, like that would be the least I want you to know to I don't support this topic. Why don't you... Uh, why? why? Why would I? <laughs> why would you put a pineapple in your butt? Why would I support anybody putting a pineapple in their butt? I don't I mean, know. I've, I got it. The, I got it the worst. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're taking the hard route for this one. I, I, I am, and I didn't mean to. <laughs> I th- he jumped the gun. <laughs> I, I jumped the gun really hard. <laughs> so those are like, I take that. And it's like you could have done it like this. I'm like, oh, oh fuck. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck. <laughs> I think if you're wanting ingest that pineapple faster, if you want to get the full feel of that pineapple faster, okay, you'd put it in your butt. What? What am I gaining from pineapple in my butt that I'm not gaining from digesting it normally? Well, I mean, it's like the same reason people put liquor in their butt. What? What? People do that. I know. There's what? a whole mancer's what? bit on that. I know. But they were doing it to get drunk quicker, and yeah. they could get alcohol poisoning yeah. from that. I should tell my uncle that. <laughs> I don't think I want to. Um. <laughs> hey man, sometimes you want that drunk right now, so I just shove a fucking. But my beer problem can is, is what am I gaining from putting pineapple in my butt that I'm not gaining from just eating it normally and digesting it? Like, I mean, if you want to experience pineapple, but you don't like the taste, no, <laughs> no, there's no, you have no justification how, for this. How do you taste? I don't, I don't. Like, but you're not tasting with your butt. That's the what point. am I That's getting a rimmer later, and I just want like that. I'm say I actually taste and scent of fresh pineapple. I enjoy when the you taste poop later. Your poop smells nice. It's like a poop freshener. Nice. All oh. right. No. No. So just shove some fucking flowers up your asshole then. I'm gonna yeah. I'm gonna. It's gonna be a product line. It's gonna be uh, fragrant enemas. So when you fragrant poop, enemas. enemas. Yeah. When you poop later, it makes your poop smell nice. So if you're gonna be like. Say you have Animals. a job interview or something. Say you're going to your, your boyfriend's house for the first time or Aww. girlfriend. And, or, and good for us. And have... you don't want to take a massive dump that stinks. I mean, you could. it still could be a massive dump and it could just I make a mess in my like, toilet. And he wants to okay, be that anal for another the first question. time. But that, you're scared that it's going to smell like shit. So you just, yeah, that's another way. That's another use. That yeah. prompts another question. Yeah, uh, I guess it applies for more than you and I, uh, Simon, not other Simon. But yeah. uh, okay, um, how long into like a relationship do you shit at the other person's house? Like, don't right. I don't know. I'm always worried about like stinking up their bathroom. Which See, I've never had a metric of that. I'll just I'll just go at it. Like I won't be thrilled right. that I did it. <laughs> right. Right. But I'll just. Like I'm not holding that turd in. It's coming. Right. Out. I mean, if you gotta go, it's gonna be like yeah. Both destroy that fucking bathroom. Because if I sorry, if I hold that in, I'm gonna be tense, and it's not gonna be a good date. Right. So it's gotta come out for me to feel. I relaxed. don't know. I'm just worried. I'm just like because there's also like you fart a lot if you hold it in. And then there's stinky farts. Yeah, and then there's no win. Like you're gonna blow up their bathroom, or you're just gonna blow up everything else. I mean, See, I think they can understand. <laughs> toilets stink. People poop. Right. I mean. I don't know. I mean, dude, I was stuck in a shower and I just oh, threw up and I yeah. shit all inside that. So I'm I'm fine with whatever. Day one, I'm down. I've, ex- <laughs> I've ex- <laughs> shat in my sink. Whatever. <laughs> whatever. Oh shit. Oh. <laughs> okay, you're not cool no. that way. Oh, no, you reminded what? me of something. Oh, oh, what? oh I'm not sure if I want to know. You can. Oh. Okay, I, I kind of I had to poop really bad. All right. It wasn't me. But, a friend of mine. <laughs> no, no, I had to poop really bad, so I went upstairs, and I dropped a hard one in the toilet. My dad also had to go really bad. <laughs> so, he couldn't wait. <laughs> and I was... And I was out pretty fast, so I went down there to tell him. He's like, "Oh, I'm already done." I was like, 
<laughs> what? <laughs> I was like, all right. <laughs> you're good. There you go. <laughs> Your dad becomes wilder and wilder every time you talk about Dude. him. I just want you to clarify where his poop went. In the sink. In the sink. Downstairs sink. Yeah, but... All right, what if you would walk downstairs and he hadn't finished up? <laughs> He's just squatting like, over the sink. What if he's still hey, just you know, I mean, prairie dogging it in the sink? Hey. Did he take it out or did he leave it I there? don't know. <laughs> he was done. What before. do you wipe with? You pick up your dishes. I don't know. He was done. <laughs> you go to wash the dishes one day and you get to the last plate. You lift it up and there's a turd. Uh, <laughs> well, it wasn't like the... We have a bathroom downstairs as well. Oh, okay. But the toilet down there doesn't work. Ah, uh, uh, okay. Sink works, though. Okay. Uh. <laughs> Don't know how well it works now. See, I was thinking you're, he was pooping in the kitchen sink. Oh, Yeah, no. that's what I thought, too. No, I was like, you just need to throw out the whole kitchen he's, sink. He's, he's I mean, that's not, what the garbage disposal is for. Not you flip it on. Crazy. He's not that crazy, okay. I don't think. You don't think? I mean, there was a time when he was younger and he threw up in a Tupperware container in like a... In like a Pseudo, I think that was Walmart or something like that. It just left it in the Tupperware and That's left. So gross. Uh, <laughs> but then someone came along and was like, "Oh, it's pre-filled with vomit. <laughs> this is this is what I want." <laughs> it's it's pre-made I, meals. I, I, I wouldn't say he said <laughs> microwave like, and serve. It's oh, ah, oh, that was. Uh, thank God that was when he was younger and dumber, <laughs> <laughs> and he was like, "I don't care." <laughs> <laughs> was he in Walmart? I think it was. That's probably why he hates Walmart. I, I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't hatred. doubt it was Walmart, but I. I don't know when Walmart started as a corporate entity. I have no idea. Uh, it might have been. Out. It might Keep have going. been before Walmart. Could have been. I feel like I should know this. I f- yeah, you work at the damn place, so I, yeah. Let's not talk about. So that. so obviously you should know everything about Walmart. I remember seeing. Uh, doing tr- part of my training was like the history of it. They, that's part of the training. Yeah, the it's like a brief Walmart? history of it, like where they're like, "Yeah, Sam Walton," which is why it's called Walmart, yeah, Walmart. and Sam's Club because it's Sam Walton. Oh, yeah, Sam's, okay. Yeah, that's that why. I did not know. Yeah, little tidbit for you. Um, it was established quite a while ago, but I can't. I mean, there's a Walmart everywhere now. Right, can't tell you. Off I'll say, isn't like head. the HQ down in like the South and like something like I that? I can believe yeah. that says Walmart was founded on July 2nd, 1962, oh, Rogers, yeah. he threw Arizona. Up Walmart. <laughs> well, no, AR, is that Arkansas? Yes. Yes. Arkansas. I knew it was down. 1962. Arizona's AZ. Man, that doesn't founded by actually Sam Walton feel in 1962. Long, mm-hmm. you know. I, I mean, was, that was... Then again, it fuck, could've... I can't calculate that in years. It was years. 62? 40. 2018? So that's 56 years ago. Yes. Huh. Yeah, my dad threw up in a Walmart. <laughs> that, 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 that's what we're getting at. It became a corporate entity on October 31st, 1969. Yep, most definitely threw up in a Walmart. <laughs> <laughs> and he probably didn't hate Walmart as much back then, but man, he, he would probably do it again just to spite them. Now that I think about it, he probably would not care. He would probably shit in a Tupperware. Um, as of, <laughs> I'm just letting you know, Dakota. He hates Walmart. I'm in a weird. He only shits in great value brand Tupperware. Which I find out another reason why he really hates Walmart, and it's probably an even bigger reason because he did a job for a Walmart uh, by the one that's uh, in Morgantown. It's right, right, right by that Sheets. Oh uh, yeah, one nineteen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, he was doing a job there with one of his buds and his little group of like technicians and whatnot. Right. And uh, they cheated them out by $20,000. Ooh. Huh. So he, I can see why he hates Walmart even more. I didn't know that till around Christmas. So I was like, oh. Right. Um, Oh. Grant didn't cheat my dad out of 20,000. Cheated the, the group. The group, so he would have gotten basically a portion of that, though. Probably, yeah. But I mean, still, it's (laughs) that's still money, though. That that was fat money, gone, (laughs) just because Walmart said, "Fuck you." I think it was like they ordered like certain parts, but then they're like, "No, we don't need those." 
Mm. And they already had the parts for Walmart. <laughs> so I was like, what? <laughs> what we do? Fuck you. That's what you do. <laughs> I mean, Walmart's really good about uh, cost cutting, things like that. Because they primarily employ part-time employees now, so they don't have to give benefits. What? Mm-hmm. Yep. Fuck Walmart. <laughs> no offense. Fuck Walmart. <laughs> more and more. Dakota's just like squishing his face together. He's he can't say anything bad about Walmart. He probably can't. He probably cannot. For that face says it all, which they can't see. It's just a terrible face. You look like a turtle. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe if I put something near you, you'll like snap at it. <laughs> yeah, yay or nay, yay or nay. <laughs> G- give us the thumb. We won't tell. We won't tell. I don't know what you're giving us the thumb for, but what was the question? Well, do you ha- love Walmart? I say, how do you feel about the corporate entity of Walmart? <laughs> Since you are currently employed by Walmart, at least I'm guessing part time. Since apparently that's all, they're only fucking like job is you don't uh, work you're really struggling there. with this <laughs> or will you really get like in trouble if you like talk bad about him or can you not even say that <laughs> he, he's contractually obligated <laughs> if so then what the fuck <laughs> what the fuck's walmart glad i don't work for walmart i it's a more or less i don't know mm. you don't know so i know other people other employees have talked smack on them and i don't know the extent of the repercussions mm. that have happened and so, so you might die is what you're saying I'm you not, might i'm not gonna say they I'm might dying, put a hit on you but i will say i i withhold information and i withhold my opinion okay got stuff. it um, got it i i will talk about i think the things i kind of like that walmart does like sell walls Yes, we sell walls and wall accessories. Um, <laughs> but uh, I, one of my favorite events we've done in my time working there is we do uh, the Children's Miracle Network stuff. Mm, yeah, and that's always good. Yeah. yeah, and I absolutely, it's my favorite event we do because I like doing everything I can for the I had children. dinner with yeah. the lady who set that up at one yeah. point. Yeah. Yeah. I got to meet her too. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, and it's we talked about the lady that set world. it up at my store. Hmm? So it's honestly one of my favorite events that we do. I like raising money for the children's hospital. I think the way my store in particular does it does it really well. We have fun and exciting weeks. We did like a whole week dedicated just to like Disney. Like we did like just a Disney themed week and Ooh. stuff just to kind of like get that energy was and just that excitement on... going of, Hey, all proceeds go to here. Was there like a sale on Disney stuff or was there just a lot of Disney stuff? To I get? don't think they put a sale on Disney I was going to say, I, I doubt there'd I be a sale on Disney but, stuff. Uh, but... Did so... you dress up as Elsa? <laughs> I didn't. I don't. I wasn't there for most of that week. I ended up getting like a free Mad Hatter hat. That's Ooh. cool. It's in my car and a free Winnie the Pooh coloring book, which I have actually used a couple times. Unshamefully, it is not. It's in my dorm room, I think. Oh. And like, there is a couple pages where I've just been bored, and I'm like, I'm gonna color this coloring book because I got nothing else to do. See, I thought I stay did. in the car when you're like stuck in traffic or something. You put on the Mad Hatter hat and you start coloring. Uh, I should, go. I should. Um, but no, it's one of my all time favorite events. That's kind of why I like doing like this year when you did uh the children's miracle network extra life stream thing when you i yeah. my mind filled it as children's miracle whip like keep going. <laughs> uh, yeah so gets the kids happy so yeah i just is it made from children or do we put it on children we'll never tell uh, I could go really dark with that. Yeah, <laughs> answer really the comments. That. Answer that question in the comments. <laughs> Would you rather have Miracle Whip on children or Miracle Whip made for um, children? So, yeah. It's, we uh, can't. Well, Miracle Whip is a brand, so we have to uh, say much. mayo. mayo. Mayo made from children. Ugh. But, yeah. So, it's eventually That just sounds like a lot worse. That. Yeah. I was also their Santa Claus this past mm. holiday season. I, and their Easter Bunny, and I had fun with both of those events, mainly because I really like kids. And You did. make a good Easter Bunny. Yeah. I actually got praised a lot as the Easter Bunny, because I would just hop around and dance around their costume. <laughs> because And they were like, hell yeah, you guys, you really rocked that role. And I was like, thank they you. They should let you hide eggs around the store. 
I think I pitched the idea and they were like into it, but not that into mm. it. They're like, cool, but no. <laughs> yeah. Um, like if you find 50 eggs, you get like a $5 Walmart gift card. Oh. That'd be neat. Wait, you say $5? I mean, they don't want to go too far. Okay. Something brutal. 10. If you can find the golden egg. The golden egg. Well, then what's the point of finding all the other I eggs? think we actually did do like an Easter egg hunt at our store. Mm. So, but it's events like that that can I, you cheat and just go purchase a bag of empty Easter eggs so. and be like, oh, I no. found all I, these. I think because there's actually stuff in no, there. Obviously, what you do is you put the golden egg in like a changing booth. No one will go in there. So you have to go in and change your clothes to yeah. to find Fun it. Egg. Yeah, but yeah. So, I th- there are things I really like about the job. So. Don't, right. don't go to looking for that promotion. I'm looking for that. Don't look at me like Man, that. You're just blowing Walter's dick hard right now. <laughs> <laughs> blowing it I like hard. how he's Walter. Wasn't he Walton. Sam Walt? He's Sam Walton. 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 Okay. Yeah. Walton. They were blowing Mr. Walt's dick real hard. When you say Not it, Disney. Okay, thank you. I was like, can we clarify which Walt? Well, I, mean, I mean, if if you could blow Walt Disney, <laughs> would you? He hate Jews, though. Oh, uh, yeah. I, I couldn't blow him then. Yeah, fair enough. I wonder if that was actually... We should, was it actually let's, true? That's actually? pretty harsh to say right now. Yeah, let's... let's <laughs> Disney's jump, a really big company. Uh, yeah, let's let's jump ship. Really well, I, I was just wondering. When I said that. I started thinking. I was like, did he actually actually hate Jews? Or I don't know. Or is that just like a, a just, smear campaign? I don't I know. Don't. I don't want to explore the topic <laughs> anymore. Because we just said... <laughs> I don't want to repeat what yeah, we just said. Let's no. keep going. Well, we're dancing a lot around a lot of stuff, and I'm like, yeah. mm. Well, you can make a lot of connections to Hitler. Stop. Stop <laughs> making right, it back. Right. Uh, we're done there. We, we've left well, the station. Could, well, wait. There's one more thing you could do. How God Hitler, damn it. No. Well, Hitler was a big loser when like uh, the Olympics was uh, in Germany, I think in the late 30s. And Hitler was like, oh, man, we need to show like the pride of Germany. Because, you know, it's in the Olympics was in Germany. Mm-hmm. Right. And you know how like their whole like uh, philosophy of like people of color, whatnot, was not the best. Yeah. Right. So in comes our athletes, which people of color mm. completely obliterated the German people. And we just, <laughs> we just told Hitler to go fuck himself. <laughs> For the longest time, to my understanding, uh, America supported Nazi Germany for a good... We, I'm not sure if we supported we, them. We just ignored them. There was like, eh. Yeah, um, I remember the creators of Superman were actually, I think, Jewish. Hmm. Ooh. Uh, no, hmm. not Superman. I think Captain America. Because okay. Captain America issue Captain number America one... Captain America punched Hitler. Hitler. <laughs> and it was their way of stating their stance as Jews against the Nazi regime and there was a lot if I'm not mistaken there was a lot of calls to the publishing company (laughs) demanding Captain America demanding that they uh, like stop the print or publication of issue number one and stuff World War II man because a lot of people were either really indifferent or supported it to my understanding Granted, that's been like a year since I've had that. So, Sonia, you've been keeping track over there on your phone? I catch up every once in a while. I, I wonder what that topic goes of like Walt Disney's going to be. I, that one's been <laughs> erased from history. Yeah, I, I, I don't. There were two Walts back to back I did not want to touch. <laughs> so. Yeah, I've never been too touchy feely with Walts. So, but yeah, um, there was that. Uh, It wasn't uncommon for, I think. Jewish creators to be in the comic industry when it was first budding. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. I yeah. I was say, because when, when was Marvel? That was before Marvel even became a was big thing. I know, a big 60s. thing, but when did it, like, come into play? Because Captain America, obviously, right. punched Nazi, so... Right. Well, punched Hitler, I should say. Right. Um... Um, Obviously, that was around the 40s, possibly 30s. There was a couple other titles, I think, before that, too, that mm-hmm. ended up into the Marvel but, universe. Like their, but their big one was obviously the OG Spider-Man, right? That right. was their big money. 
Marvel. Right. And that was after a lot of writing got better right. because a lot of early comic writing is really one dimensional and misogynistic. <laughs> it's like very male pandering, <laughs> like real bad. Um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 So, uh, fun fact Human Torch wasn't originally in the Fantastic Four. He Human made a Torch? De- yeah. He made a debut prior to that in his own comic series. Uh, what yeah he made a debut he it's was weird. like he was like a cyborg thing um so huh. yeah if i'm not mistaken and did crossovers with hmm. the submariner namor oh yeah they had a couple crossover stuff and hmm. junk. yeah did not know that yeah it was so they're like two types of human torches in the marvel universe one's the fantastic four and the other one's some cyborg dude yeah pre i think pre marvel universe huh because one was written by some dude and then fantastic four i think was actually created by stanley himself Hmm. um because the history goes with him in that series is he was writing for i think a couple companies or a company and wasn't happy and so uh his wife was like hey if you're gonna leave write the story you want to write what are they gonna do and he did and that's how fantastic four number one happened huh yeah it's something along those lines don't hold me to that 100 percent. i mean so cool regardless. but yeah so that was kind of like the caveat of him being like fuck it what do i have to lose and then the, him creating one of their most successful stories. Who was that? Stanley. Oh, Stanley. Yeah. Stanley, cool guy. Yeah, unfortunate. We'll miss him. Well, was cool guy. I mean, oh, still cool guy. I mean, still, still rad dude. Mad respect. Anyway. So, uh, Marvel began in 1939. Okay. Uh, that would have been. That would have been what about the? Cusp? That would have been before the first. That would have. That would have been at the cusp of. Yeah, the, right. The beginning when they the might have. In, they That's might have when, invaded Poland. Yeah, that's when they would have been doing all... Uh, that's when a lot of Jews would have been immigrating out. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's weird that we talked about Disney and then talked about, like, the Marvel Universe since they kind of own that now. Well, they do. Yeah. Yeah. If I mean, yeah. It's not kind of. It's They, they do. do. They do. They straight up do. Now they own uh, they Deadpool own... as well. Like, they're consolidating their uh, Marvel... Oh, because fucking... Because Fox. Fox. Fox owns... Yeah. yeah. Was it Fantastic Four... And Which the X Men and again and Deadpool X Men. I like X Men. Uh, which I don't for, particularly first, care first much class, for the new X Men. Uh, first like class was pretty ones. solid. I say uh, I thought that was really good. Yeah. Um. I, I can't remember that I one like after. That. Maybe like the first trilogy. And again, I'm a little dicey on those since it's been a while. Mm. Oh, like that. The yeah. one back, okay. They're kind of like they're, they're they're a product of their time. Yeah, but had Hugh Jackman in it, which he was probably Wait, like the did best Fox, part. Did Fox own a uh, Ghost Rider? I oh, think so. I don't know because that means we got Ghost Rider. As long as we <sighs> don't get a that Ghost Rider means... that's in the same vein as Ghost Rider Two, dude, I want Nick Cage to be Ghost Rider in the MCU. Oh, uh, I want that. that uh, they probably won't do it. He's getting pretty. I don't up care. There. What if, I don't care. What if it was a movie, him passing on the torch? I could almost live with he, that. He's like the old man from the first the, one. Yeah, I That'd really cool. like that dude as an actor. There you yeah. yeah. That's probably one of my favorite moments in the first one is where... I uh, say, because can the Ghost Rider pass his title along like a torch uh, or something like that? Or is it just like a, one of those where... I think... Because he's a spirit of vengeance, obviously. Yeah, I think that, he has to make the contract. Okay, has and to make then, the contract. But like... Again, obviously, the movie had like a previous ghostwriter guiding him, so it's not to say that he can't. Okay, so I was just because he could um, look for someone. I don't. I don't know. Apparently, right. Sony owned Ghost Rider, but it has now reverted to Marvel. Ooh, so Ooh. Marvel's already because, owned. They just don't want to use it because Ghost Rider was in the Punisher series on Netflix, if I remember. Well, it that wasn't would make Cage, sense. right? wasn't Nick Cage. It was some yeah. other dude. Neat. Which the guy. Not the, worth my The attention. Ghost Rider, if I remember, he looked pretty fucking badass. All right. <laughs> he, he looked good. My problem with. I mean, Nick- that, that's the thing. I mean, it's a fucking skeleton dude that's on fire. Right. And fucking. Real hard to fuck that one. Kind of. Also hard real hard just to fuck him because he's on fire. But. uh, I just like Ghost Rider. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He's Neat character. Spirit of Vengeance. If you do. 
Although I wouldn't, because the whole penance there thing, it goes off of like your sins. Yeah. Is it? Because sins could be a little. They're a little dicey. A little weird. It, yeah. So does like, it like burn out like every time you bopped it? Like, <laughs> yeah. look into my eye. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Because like, if like every like <laughs> masturbation session you had was a sin, would Ghost Rider see all would he of send that? You for, would, he, would he send you for lust, like excessive yeah. lust? Yeah, or for what pride. A, what, <laughs> for pride. <laughs> what about what about gluttony? What if I just <laughs> like I'm a bigger dude? Like, is he gonna send me for nah, gluttony? Because nah, I'm, glut- I'm just gluttony is like gluttony is like one of those things where it's like you're just eating just because you just to eat. Not just like, I just, it's weird. Yeah, it's a weird sin. It's like, it's, imagine it's like a king is Imagine eating. you're the robot from Futurama that likes to, that's like, uh, the, yes. the chair. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Constantly there eating things, oiling himself up. Yes. That's that would be lust and uh, gluttony right there. Yeah, because he also kind of rubs his nips. He's pretty weird. Yeah, he's, he's he was an odd character. Like, I think they had fun like, with him, but. He's like a Roman bot, dude. I yeah. mean, he seems like the kind of character you want to have fun with, but. <laughs> I, he was a weird character. Yeah, he's I was a weird thinking character. about Futurama the other day. Something made me think about it and how much I actually like missed it. I know. I want to rewatch it. Yeah. I just remember uh, the episode because you're talking about that robot of when they they use the time machine to go forward in the future. Uh huh. And since they went to they uh, were going to a party, but they were going to check out the of course the time machine before they went to the party. And they missed it because they went way far in the future. Mm-hmm. And the, the show, like, because the party they went to, it exploded. And so the robot was the only one to survive. He's like, there was bodies all over me. And then the explosion happened. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh. <laughs> I think the explosion was caused by a prostitute bot or something like that. It's like its nuclear core acted up. I was like, Jesus Christ. It's uh there you go. <laughs> is that the same time machine episode where they solve it by going so far yes, forward in time? They went forward that so to the second universe. Yes, yeah, second yeah. universe happened. Oh, that's the one where he had like a car for Lila. Yes. Yes. Yeah, because it was like their date or anniversary or something. Yeah. Yeah. Man, I forget I forgot that later like Future oh, Alma was really fueled by that. Like I My mean it was Layla like and Fry's love. Yeah, it was like something he tried to achieve. And I was like, cool. I mean, I feel like the series should end when that happens. Yeah. No, but they had to show some of the love. Yeah. But I don't know. Something about it was just kind of meh. Meh. Hmm. Like, I don't know. I, I don't always know. liked Fry. I didn't like Leela as much. I think she was more of a supporting Fair. character, but I still Fair. liked Leela. Like, I, it's not that I didn't. She was a good character. I just didn't It's because she only had one eye, isn't it? That's ah, not it. You Fred asshole. Is. That's not it. Fuck off. Ugh. Um, you just don't have the eye for her. <laughs> Dakota is stifling a laugh right now. Fuck. Yeah. You just let it out. Just let no, it out. Let, let it go. It no, I'm not going to let you have the satisfaction. <laughs> I'm satisfied by your face turning red. Uh, just thinking about the episode because they went forward. But that's not two times. Yeah, because they fucked they, it up. Oh, they missed the first time. <laughs> they missed the first one. Um, Which, if I remember, that first universe, when you left the card, it hit her in, like, the back of the head, which made her leave that message. Yeah, right. she, like, shot the ceiling, and it made the stalactites. Right. Right. Or stalagmites. Uh, I can't fuck, remember. I don't know which one's which. Something like that. Oh, yeah. no. Just... But, yeah, um, that's not the first time that shows mess- messed with time travel though no there's the whole bit in the an earlier season where he, oh, he, where he becomes his own grandfather, yeah. <laughs> which, his own grandfather which is one of my favorite things which they bring up later as a plot point during oh. like the brain thing yeah, he, yeah. His own grandfather. Because he didn't have like the delta wave, wave or something right. like that <laughs> yeah. yeah that's right yeah mm. they actually were like hey here's a plot point they thought it was just good well, and then they stupid. brought it up a couple more times i think after that just in passing I think, like, like, because I think the show wow. itself struggled to be like, wow, this is something we actually did. <laughs> it's like, how do we do this? Remember this? Holy shit, we just saved ourselves. It's also like, hey, remember that time we made that 
character his own fucking grandfather. <laughs> you know how fucking funny that is? <laughs> like, let's bring that back. If so, so fucking... How, how the fuck does that work? <laughs> right. How right. does that work? I mean, once you create the loop, it just keeps like going. You're, you're the origin of your own genetics. Yeah, how? But at the same time, that, there, there was a, a paradox, isn't right. it? Right. But then at the same time, that almost like tosses away the original timeline in which you weren't. Yeah. Yeah. So, which, so like, I like that. Yeah. <laughs> it's I like it, but it's also you, th- you keep thinking about it, and you keep thinking Think about, about it. it. How could you jizz out yourself? I don't know. I don't know. I, I mean, he know. technically didn't. I mean, there had to be, but that, had- but that was a gener- There was a generation oh. later in which he was. Yeah, because his grand. Because imagine if you were your own dad. Which means I hate it when they do stuff like that, right? Because that that is a paradox. Because yeah. it had to be the one where he didn't do that, but he had to do that for that to happen, right? Well, I mean, you so, could theoretically think there was never a point where he didn't do that. So if you're trying to think of like constant loops in time, like right. time doesn't happen and then here and then here, it's constantly flowing. Oh, right. God. So he can flow backwards and flow forwards because time is constantly moving. So <sighs> both this point and this point exists right now. Okay. Just for right. us, we have not made it there. Okay. Right. So oh, if you're thinking about it that way, fuck. Okay. once he achieves that loop, I mean, that loop has always existed. Like, there was no point where he wasn't his own grandfather, because that's just how it's always been. God right. damn. Oh, wow. Time travel. Man, I miss that show, because yeah. shit like that. <laughs> Man, fucking Destiny has that element in there as well, with, like, the Vex. Where you're own, your own grandfather? Well, not quite, but, like, the whole time travel oh. thing with, like, the Vex. Yeah, they're because constantly everywhere. Although they, they kind of, they kind of not, because in, like, the Curse of Osiris DLC, you find out it's, like, a giant simulation and they're looking like into like the whole like branches and like the future and whatnot and they're trying to get the one branch they want uh-huh yeah she can get crazy in destiny i'm i want it to get crazy i want to go through time and space what then go on <laughs> fuck is it <laughs> is it bill and ted's excellent adventure yes yes yeah go on that I haven't watched that actually. I've only seen parts of it. I watched part of it. They get in like a it's what, some kind of time some... traveling thing. It's like a doctor. It's like a I don't think I don't know. I can't answer that because I don't remember it very doctor well. Doctor Who is a police box, right? But it's actually a lot large on the inside. Yeah, they right. call it the TARDIS. The TARDIS. But the outside's like a police box, right? It looks like a or phone is it a telephone booth? or is it a phone booth? I think it's a phone booth. Okay. Mm. It's oh. Something. It's a booth. Right. A suicide booth. Oh god. <laughs> Back Futurama. in Futurama. <laughs> what Futurama? Oh, uh, I miss that show so much. We've been on Futurama for a while. Well, yeah. I mean, it's like come and go, come and go. Time travel. Time like, travel, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Time's convoluted. Say that. What again. if? Yes. This conversation we're about to have actually sparks the conversation we had earlier. Oh God! Where are you going with this? What's what? What, what, what are you doing with this? What's your what's your derailer? <laughs> when I did the derailer, so what are, you, what are you getting at? I didn't really have anywhere to go with that. <laughs> okay. God damn it! <laughs> that would have felt like a better derailer than the one we got. <laughs> Does it give you a question you can't answer? Yeah, I'll just start giving you paradoxes. Like <sighs> this statement is false, <laughs> and then I'll be like, solve it, and then but. You can't. You can't. It's like paradoxes can't exist, but they... Right. They can exist, but they they can't exist. I look forward to the day I actually create a paradox, in a sense. I don't know, just because you've always heard of it, but... I think you you don't know if you ever get to experience it. I think that's what caused the Big Bang, you know, because people, the the universe is like, and I'm pretty uh, sure that's what started the Big Bang Theory, mm, which everyone regrets that. Yeah, Mm. but ABC is number one comedy. I look forward to the day I get ABC, TBS. I can't. I don't know where they are. I don't know somewhere. Something. Someone's number one comedy. It's not Emmy nominated Um, award. It's like whatever. For people who th- 
mildly think people who think into they're nerd gamers. culture, nerdy, yeah, yeah, nerd culture, yeah, those it's... normies, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like none of the char- <laughs> none of the characters are good people. Is I think my biggest problem with it. I could deal with the fake nerd culture shit, but it's just none of the characters are good people. See, if you if you're gonna have a show where none of the characters are good people, you need that one character to call them out on their shit. Right. So you're all assholes. It's like, why are you like this? <laughs> right. <laughs> that show lacks that. So. I, try, I, I remember Game Grumps. Uh, Aaron was talking about. Whose show was it? Fuck. They came on as a guest on Guest Grump. Because Aaron. Rob Schneider? Rob Schneider. The Rob you. Schneider bit? Yeah. yeah. Where he, acts, like, where he, he was talks watching smack. his show. And he's like, I don't. I just don't understand the show and then it's like rob's such an asshole in the show and then immediately he guest stars guest stars i was like i was like what happened there (laughs) power play and i'm into it so that was good (sighs) yeah (laughs) they didn't even address it either no No. well i think they talked about a little bit because he was like rob was like they talked about he the was, show. It, oh, well, but it was like how he got on Game Grumps. Yeah. It was like he listened to Aaron like talk about it. It wasn't like shit talking like the show or like yeah. bad acting or anything like that. He's like, he just didn't understand how this asshole could just get away with this dumb shit. Right. And then, I, guess, I don't, I, don't, I guess yes. the, Rob's wife, like one of the characters on the show was like the only person who's like, why are you like this? Why are you doing this? Was Rob's wife also like a fan of Game Grumps or something like that? That could also be it. I don't. I, I, don't I feel know. like that was a thing, but I'm not 100 percent sure. I wouldn't doubt it. Yeah. Is it bad that the picture? My mental image of Rob Schneider. Rob Schneider is very similar to my mental image of Richard Simmons. What? All right. Because I do believe, to me, what a way to. They look similar. I don't. I don't I mean, know. Um, Rob maybe I don't know what Rob Schneider. Schneider's hair looks like now, but maybe at a point, maybe I, the I hair. He, that's about it. I though. thought he. Wow. Oh. That's about it, though. Is the hair? Man, and that it's was been, like a while ago. What was the last? I can't even remember the last time I watched anything with Rob Schneider in it. I know. Like. Well, no, it's like the whole like. Rob Schneider, Adam Sandler, and uh, Kevin James and Chris Rock. Yeah, they are always in each other's shit. Yeah, uh, David Spade. David Spade's David part of that Spade. too. There you go. Yeah, they're um, like. Also, I'll be honest like with you. Jumping in their movies every once in a while. Yeah, I don't see David Spade do a whole lot. Yeah, I think he might have his own TV hmm. show now, something like that. I can't again. Don't hold me to that. No, he's know, doing something. Fuck all about David Spade. I know. Okay. Joe, I know Joe Dirt. It's not a close <laughs> semblance. Okay. Not, you just thought. But okay, there's Richard Simmons. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and wait, are you showing me Rob like? Schneider. I guess it's the hair. Yeah, it's the hair. It's the hair. I will say, um, <laughs> I don't. Rob Schneider's probably in two movies I kind of okay with. <laughs> bench warmers? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, I will I say I do like bench warmers. Yeah. Um, The Animal. I think he Oh. Yeah. Oh, He's the lead good. in that and I remember watching that movie a lot when I was little cuz yeah, we had it on DVD. Yeah. I would just put it in and then fall asleep. <laughs> like I'd watched it once all the way through and I was like, "Cool, I got cool. what I needed out of this movie. Now it's just background noise." <laughs> background noise. I'm catching us up on the the. Oh, oh that's what you're doing. Yeah. Oh, man, that list doing? has been real long. Mm-hmm. Like we've been through a lot. A little bit, yeah. You just put like, and I after think we Futurama, you can just put like time travel shenanigans. I mean, essentially, you, is that what you put down? I mean, I yeah. yeah. And we, I don't even think we've covered most of our our planned list. Oh, we don't have to cover it. No, as long as it's a good to. start, we just need a, uh, a just solid a kick start. Yeah, Shine Down got us here. Yeah, Shine Down. Yeah. Way to go, Shine Down. <laughs> we knew fuck all about you, but I'm glad you got us yeah, here. Yeah, you got us here. I mean, still like their songs. Like now, yeah. I feel like I need to go home and listen, listen to, to Shine Down. Yeah, look what they've done for us. So do you want? It's like a crow chasing a butterfly. <laughs> uh, something in the summer uh, sky. Summer sky. When you, you and I, I get high, high as, as outer space. space. 
I never thought you would slip away. That's all we can say now. Yeah. Because we'll get sued. <laughs> I know Game Grumps got in trouble a lot with that. Did they? Apparently. Did they? Yeah, because they, Danny. <laughs> yeah, Danny, Danny would sing bits. And then. <laughs> and I know, like, oh, I think it was like Sonic Adventures. Yeah. Where it's like, okay, we got 10 seconds. Go. <laughs> So they he sang as much of this song as he could in that ten seconds, right? Which I'm trying to think what song that was. Uh, I don't want to lose your love tonight. Stop! 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 Yeah, I know. It's, that, well, it's, it's that song. Oh, yeah. Okay, that song. Uh, what is might, that, that song? might be it, <laughs> or probably not. Well, I also. <laughs> I can't remember it now. Oh, God damn it. Like God it's damn it. it's there. I, I know the what song the you're talking about. Fuck? That was me last night. I was playing Sea of Thieves with you, Simon. Mm-hmm. There was a song that was like, all right. I, I was, Troll was in my hand. Song came to my head. I was like, oh, I want to listen to that song. I went to my laptop. was going to type it in. Forgot. <laughs> Literally forgot. I was like, <laughs> where'd it go? And all you basically was just turn to the I side, just turned didn't you? to the side. <laughs> And I know I was like, "What the fuck?" See, I, it just got blasted out of my fucking skull. See, I have a problem <laughs> where I'm like, "Man, I, I know this it. thing. I'll forget it, and then two hours later, I'll be like, Yes, huh, that's what it yes, is. I hate that. Yeah, so it happens much. to me all the time when I drive. Because in the at the beginning of my drive, I'll be like, like a longer drive too, like a two hour drive. At the beginning of my drive, I'll be thinking about it, and then my thought will cycle through like fifty million other things that kind of like." our derailed does and then i'll come back to it I'll be like what the fuck was i thinking about that well, got me it? here speaking of the the name of that song well going back that yeah. the name of it was your love your love all right your love. All right. thank you and the second when i was googling it popped up a yahoo answer who wanted to know the meaning of the song your love by the outfield and See. there's hmm, like i kind of understand wait, someone explain explain i'm trying to think of the exact words for the chorus I don't want to lose your love, or I don't want to use... It starts out with, which is a dead giveaway, Josie's on a vacation far no away. Way. Oh, God. Come around and talk it over. And the line, you know I like my girls a, a little, little bit, bit older. older. Okay. I just want to use your love tonight. Okay, so he's cheating. It's super obvious, <laughs> but this guy didn't figure it out, or girl. I don't know who well, that, posted that, that this. Is Yahoo. one thing. I don't think about the lyrics until we talk about it. I mean, you can sing a song, and you have no idea what the song's saying until you read the lyrics and talk about it, and you're like, oh. "Oh." I didn't have that issue with uh, A Little Piece of Heaven, though. That one was kind of on the nose. That was a little on the nose. (laughs) Yeah. It's like, yeah. (laughs) You can't really sing your way around that one. When my dad and I saw them uh, in concert down in... uh, North Carolina. Avenged Sevenfold? Yeah, they were like one of the, they were like the last band to play. And uh, <laughs> they were trying to get people to like, guess like what song like they were going to play. It's like, oh, do you like, uh, got this song where it's like about like <laughs> having sex with like a dead body. People are like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> people are like, man, we do not want to get buried here. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yeah. <laughs> you're not wrong <laughs> yeah i was just flicking through the lyrics of the song and must have stabbed her 50 fucking times yeah i can't believe it i r- ripped her heart out right, right before, before her eyes eyes, eyes over easy, easy. Eat, eat, it, it, eat it eat it eat it eat it, eat it. <laughs> she was never good in this bed even when she was sleeping She's just so perfect. I've never been quite so fucking deep in. Yep. Yep. That, you've got it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. I've never, like, I've, yeah. I like that song, but I've never yeah. actually sat down and thought about the lyrics. Yeah, dude. It's, uh, yeah. it's, who? I've never. Oh, man, I, I need and to it think. Goes on and on and on. Because I, I lo- could keep you looking young and preserved forever with a fountain spray on your youth whenever. <laughs> that was the next lyrics, yeah. <laughs> And that's a longer song, it's too. It's like eight, nine minutes long. Yeah. And there's like uh, 30 seconds of like instrumental there at the beginning. So you could, eh. You're right. 
Then like around five, six minute mark, more instrumental, then boom. I listen to it. <laughs> listen. It, just, it just makes me think of the song uh, The Horror of Our Love by Ludo. Have you guys ever heard that one? You've actually heard. sent that song to me before. I have sang that song. I sang that as a, a, oh, an audition for a musical yeah, you in high school. <laughs> um, it starts out, I'm a killer, cold and wrathful, silent sleeper. I've been inside your bedroom. I've murdered half the town, left you love notes on their headstones. I'll fill the graveyards until I have you. Nice. Yeah. Well, I mean, he's doing it for love, at least. Moonlight walking, I smell your softness, carnivorous and lusting to track you down among the pines. I want you stuffed into my mouth, hold you down and tear you open, live inside you. Love, I'd never hurt you. Well, I don't know about and that. And it's, it's a combination of the lyrics like, and the tone he that. sings it's it in. So, he sings it in such a pretty way. It's sung like a love song. Yeah, and it's very much not. I like that. <laughs> I, I, I like that. It's though. extreme love. Right. right. Well, it's love that knows no bounds. That is, what's the Yandere? Is like yeah, the, something like that. Something like that. Well, Yandere is like they don't want like like anyone else shows interest they'll kill them right right or will they kill them so no one else can get them mm. it's one of those it's it's an extreme that we just it's an extreme that yeah. involves killing <laughs> yeah I, I can't think of any song off the top of my head like that little piece of heaven <laughs> right but we talked about that in the Ludo song and now i'm just kind it's of it's probably a rob zombie song like yeah. probably. probably i wouldn't put it past rob not Schneider, but Zombie. What if Rob Schneider and Rob yeah. Zombie did a collab? Dude, that'd be something. <laughs> Rob Schneider and Rob, Rob Zombie. Yeah. yeah, Rob and Rob. Rob and Rob. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be a fun little adventure. Give me a give me. What a little... the hell would they produce? <laughs> you don't. I don't know. Dude, you don't I know. God know. doesn't know. I want to know. Rob and Rob playing on Rob. How about that? Robin Rob's oh. excellent adventure. I'd be up for it. Yeah, Robin Rob playing Rob. Yeah, there yeah. you go. If Robin Williams was still alive, I'd uh, almost want to get him uh, on that action too. Dude. Rob, Rob, Rob. Live action Aladdin. Please. That's a thing. Oh, yeah. yeah but That's a thing. Yeah, Will Aladdin. Smith is the genie. genie. And I'm yeah. not. It's, dude. Mm. I'll watch it. Well, that that's a thing. Hey, with you've stated Ro- before that you want war- more Will Smith. You stated in the I last do. episode of I the like you Will wanted more Smith. Will Smith. I like Will Smith. But is this the Will Smith we Why? want? Is this the Will Smith we deserve? Um, mm-hmm. Because he was also in YouTube see, Rewind, I, too. And YouTube Rewind was oof. oof. Big time. Oof. That was it's, pretty awful. It's the most disliked YouTube video of all time. Right. And produced by we as a We as a country is real I feel proud. like it's meant to be cringy, though. It's not meant to be good. Right. But I think we just kind of want to teach YouTube. Dude, well, I can understand them wanting to put Fortnite in there, because Fortnite... It's huge. It's huge. <laughs> so I'll take that one bullet. Everything else, though, no. Right. <laughs> no. Oh, their shit was weird. I I actually did not watch it. Cause... I watched it with Cody. Cody made me watch it. Why did Cody of all people? Well, he hadn't watched it. He was like, "Oh, the new, new uh, YouTube rewinds out." And but that just doesn't feel up. like something. Cody and then we watched watch. it, and we were just like, "Dude, okay." Wolfgang shared it in the chat, and then like showed the dislike bar, and then him like <laughs> clicking dislike, and then <laughs> posting a picture. I'm doing my part. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I'll join you on that. <laughs> then I watched it. I was like, yeah. <laughs> well, it was like people like uh, made like clips of like the best parts of YouTube Rewind. It's like the first 15 seconds <laughs> of the video. That's it. It just like goes to like Will Smith. And he's like, ah, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> what happened to your chapstick? It kind of exploded <laughs> and I don't know I look over. It looks like you just strangled it. <laughs> oh, guys, what? I'm scared. What Jesus. happened? What did you do? I don't You're know. You're covered in chapstick. I am. I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad that's what you went to immediately. I'm c- I, I was looking at the side. We're having a serious conversation. I look over, and you're just smothered wait, in chapstick. Is, wait, is that just like lettering on like the... 
the left like breast of your shirt is that yeah, yeah. okay I thought, I thought that was chapstick there like you want, you want jesus yes please wipe off all that chapstick did you even get any on your lips <laughs> no <laughs> jesus no i can't <laughs> There you go. You got to fix. You level it out. Okay. You're good. Oh, my God. Okay, guys. How do you like your bacon? Kevin. 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 You like your, your bacon, Kevin? I prefer it crunchy. Crunchy? Really very floppy. Crunchy like a roll? Yeah, like a crunchy roll. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Please sponsor us. <laughs> I was about to go. It's like, crunchy roll. Like the hit, like the hip anime um, streaming service. Crunchy roll. Where you can watch all your favorite... <laughs> I like chewy bacon. Mm, I like it crunchy. Chewy just... I don't want to have to work on it. I'm, I want to just I'm, go... I'm, I'm, I'm the tweener. You're the tweener? I'm the tweener. I like it like chewy, but also a little crunchy. You so know? you like it like medium rare? Yeah, yeah. Oh. I guess. Maybe. Definitely. I don't know how steaks are measured. Crunch, I like it well done. Crunchy bacon feels like if I were to chew on bark. <laughs> Some. I mean, that's... Super crunchy, I would yeah. say. If it's not like burnt bark. bacon. I right. just like it have a crunch to it. I gotcha. I yeah. gotcha. But I could also see where you're coming from. Yeah. It's just I'm that healthy middle. And go either way. That's the only I just love bacon that much, dude. You're the only reason Dakota and I can get along. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Because we fucking hate each other over that. <laughs> we bacon. really do. We fucking fight all the time when you're not here. What? Yeah, all the time. What? Yeah. I don't think that's true at all because we're more <laughs> both of I was us. I because I'm not here, so I don't know. Both of us are more likely to be passive aggressive if we're upset, and <laughs> but, but that, that almost never really yeah. happens. You and I are pretty chill and on the same page about shit. Yeah. So no, that was a yeah. complete lie. You talking about friendships ending made me sad because I just remembered super best friends. Their channel's ending right now. They're not best Why? friends anymore. Yeah, Matt and Pat. They apparently they're not friends anymore. <laughs> Mad Pat. <laughs> yeah. Were their names too similar? I guess I think so. we can't be friends anymore. But what, what's going to happen to us? We're both Simon. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Simon, Simon. No. But yeah, they didn't, they're didn't. they ending their channel. Or at least the Super Best Friends ch- channel is... It's done. That's hmm. sad. Yeah, I mean... They've been going for... I think they said like... I forget how long they've been going on for. Because I've like... N- saw them on Machinima... With their video, well, videos on Machinima, which then made me watch their shit on their actual channel. Hmm. So them just ending like that makes me a little sad. We're here for you. I know. I need to catch up on their podcast, but it's, what's the point now? They're ending. It's just dead. <laughs> it's, it's like ending. watching Mythbusters now that you know yeah, Adam know. and Jamie hate each other. Yeah, I know. Yeah, it's, it's a that, Mythbusters situation pretty much. That baffled me a lot that they just hated each other. And it honestly upsets me. Like, my child is gone now. Right. I was about to... The White Rabbit Rabbit Project on Netflix. I watched a few episodes White of that. Rabbit. It was all right. It was... It, uh, was, it was with the B-team from Mythbusters. Yeah. Oh, they got their own show. Oh, yeah. Okay. It was pretty all right. I mean, I, didn't I like how like they tried to do a story. Like, I just wanted them to test out the thing, not, like, reenact the entire no, thing there. entire thing. Well, Mythbusters had a couple bits like that, too. Yeah, but it wasn't too long. It wasn't, like, half the show. Right. I don't know. I guess I like the Jaws specials. <laughs> yeah, yeah, those are always good. Shark Week was always those. fun. I made like a fucking metal tube of a shark head on liked, it going down the fucking. I liked their prison the break bay. episode. Ooh. Yeah, where they would try to break out of prison and stuff like that. I'm guessing just like using like the just whatever yeah. they had available to them. And there was also like a duct tape boat. That was awesome. A that was the duct tape, tape episode. That was probably was one of my favorites. <laughs> I like the episode where they tried to clean a cement out of a cement truck with a spinny thing. Oh, and with dynamite? Just, yeah. And they, yeah. then at the end, they just obliterated the truck. Like it just disappeared. A lot of that show's budget <laughs> went into shit like that where they were like, well, uh, this didn't fuck it up, but why not? Boom. <laughs> It was just like noticed like every time they had an explosion on the show, viewer uptick like went up. So we just need to keep things, making things blow up, dude. Duh, <laughs> people like explosions. We should launch a uh, podcast that just records the sound of explosions. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. <laughs> we'll call it the the sound of loudness. The sound of loudness. We have to do a play, the sound of silence. We have to do a play on that. 
I just thought of like a joke we could do in there. We'll have like explosion noises happening. And then, you know, like the, the grapefruit technique, right? Oh, no. Uh, <laughs> no. Slide, slide that in there. I think it's um, copyrighted now by Grapefruit Technique Incorporated. No, just, you know, slide, <laughs> just slide that in there. I saw that on a, <laughs> on a Shark Tank. <laughs> Wait, what? No, I'm joking. <laughs> I was like, like, no, please, no. Here's a demonstration for you guys. <laughs> I'll put two million dollars into that. You guys didn't need to go that hard into that bit, but I'm so happy that you did. You had to be authentic. Like if you didn't re- replicate the sound, yeah, like dude, grapefruit <laughs> technique. Oh, dude, I forget like the 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 catch line for it was is like, uh, since grape it's like grapefruit will help you like lose fat as well. So it's like. <laughs> You're pleasing your man while also losing fat at the same time. I was like, oh. Grapefruit is one of those oh. things. I think it like it burns more calories to yeah, digest. Yeah, something like than, that. It's oh, like, it's like a negative calorie yeah. thing. Yeah. <laughs> I think. I need to watch it now. Matt I, and Allie showed it to me one time when we were waiting on laundry oh, to finish up. We were sitting what in the... What a thing to watch yeah. while waiting for laundry. We were sitting in Grapefruit the common area and Allie was like, hey, you should see this. <laughs> and then I'm like... <laughs> oh. All right. She's right. a genuine wild card. Like, what she does surprises me. Like, it's the same. It's the same of like she does something. And I'm like, Allie, why? But at that same moment, I'm like, all right, I can kind of understand. I, I get it. I but, get it. But why? Wild card, bitches. <laughs> nice sunny reference. I love sunny. Oh, I need so to watch good. more sunny. Uh, <laughs> God, it's so good. Still love uh, most recent season. I don't know if I talked I might have talked about it on the previous podcast, but um Mac and Charlie, they were bullied when they were young when they were riding bikes. And so they of course now they're older. Right. They're like, All right, we, we don't <laughs> we can get our own bikes now and like not get bullied. So they're riding down the street, they stop and there come these kids which is like the kids of the bullies that bullied them when they were younger and they start <laughs> bullying them <laughs> because they're grown men riding bikes. <laughs> so they get shit on. And so the kids leave them and they're just talking about it. And their thing is like, man, I, wanna, man, I wish when we were younger, we'd beat those guys up. And they're like, yeah. So they beat up the kids. <laughs> <laughs> Go over there and beat the shit out of the kids. I love It's Always Sunny, but God, there is some shit in that show that I'm just like really oof about. Um, what what the fuck's his name? I can't remember. I don't really care much for his character. Uh, D's brother. What the hell? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. I hate his character. He's a horn dog. Dude. Yeah, he's- but my favorite bit is when I think he's like in a coma or having like a fever dream. And he's forcing himself down to give himself like a blowjob. Like he's doing the push technique. You know the episode I'm talking about, right? Yeah. Right? Like, because he's also done it to girls. So he does it to himself when he's like semi conscious in his like dreamscape (laughs) bullshit. Dude. It's wild. The serial defense. (laughs) (laughs) He's. He's driving his car, but he has cereal in his hand. So when he reaches a red light, he stops and eats, like, uh, takes a bite out of his cereal or a couple yeah. of however long he's there. Um, he gets rear ended by, was it Charlie? Something like that, yeah. Mac? But he gets rear ended by him. So, of course, he spills the milk all inside his car. So he wants like them to pay for it, but they're like, "Why? You, why you have cereal in your car? <laughs> it's like so I could just like eat and go, you know, red light, and then I can eat." It's like, but why do you have cereal in your car? And that's like the entire episode. <laughs> they have like a court case in the bar, and they're trying to like explain like each of their like like uh, sides of the story. I forget like what the end of it was, oh. like w- what they settled on, but he does it again. And it happens again. (laughs) (laughs) 
the show really likes to uh, take really mundane and just dumb things <laughs> and just blow it out of proportion. See, I didn't. I haven't watched a lot of Sunny. You oh, need to. Man. You would like it. But I you always would. think of an episode where there's a couple of the main characters think they're cannibals. I think they're cannibals. And they go into a morgue. What? what? To eat, try to eat a dead body. Either they're cannibals or they think they're into necrophilia. I'm not sure which it is. With Sonny, it could go like almost any way. Yeah. Honestly, they could have hit both nails with that episode. Yes. I don't know which was happening in it. I, mean, I do remember seeing I mean, it could have been like episode. this. I think two of them could have been there to eat the body, and then one of them wanted to fuck the body. It was just two of them. Two of them? Okay, Eagles, one probably wanted to eat, one wanted to fuck. The fuck it. it was the girl. D probably wanted to eat it. And then one of the other Maybe. One of the guys. I, you don't know sometimes. Yeah, she's been... I think it was cannibal. I'm thinking it was cannibal. But I would lean towards cannibal with her. Right. If it was like a dead dude, yeah. it might have been like, I don't know. What do yeah. You I don't know. <laughs> it, it, it could go either way. That, that's just I, all I can remember. I... <laughs> like it's so <laughs> that shows real good. I just like uh, Charlie. Charlie is probably my favorite yeah. character. Oh. Um, then just per, his one, actor. one of my favorite episodes with him. Uh, like the uh, inspector was coming into the bar. Yeah, they had like I don't know if that was like one whole single shot, but it it pretty much just like follows Charlie just like, just as he's going just through as the he's bar. going through the bar. Like the, it's like it, one full, full shot. shot. Like, for, like, 20 minutes, it felt like. Yeah. Well, maybe, like, the intro of them talking or whatever, like, you know, mm -hmm. like cutting back and forth between characters. Inspector shows up, one full shot of, and like, that's the really entire bar. really impressive. Until she leaves. I was amazed at yeah, that. Yeah, that's really impressive to do just one shot, one continuous shot, and just to stay on that. Which they had to, like kind of skirt around some of like the issues inside the bar where they get in trouble for like i think there was like co2 right, problems in like the basement yeah when the toilets was like constantly clogged there right. something going on with like the tables or something Charlie's like that he's in charge of all the maintenance and stuff yeah right so i think everybody else was trying to do maintenance and charlie's just kind of like why the fuck i've had this it's like, like this to, it's like they're trying to do this but they just fuck it up <laughs> right and like i think is that the same episode with the dumpster bit where he, they're like this dumpster's too far over it is and the inspector's like this dumpster's too yeah, far like, over at yeah. the end of it like i think d had to move it over like a couple inches, inches? yeah and she didn't do it so like at the end like everything passed inspection and it's like Everything is fine. Except that dumpster needs to move a couple inches. So it's like, all right, no problem. It's like, dude, that stupid bitch. <laughs> 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 which, which it does like a cut to. Well, I think it's, it ends and then yeah. it goes to them in the bar. And they're all sitting around like the counter of the bar, and uh, all throughout like the shot when like Charlie was done like talking to the inspector and going back into the bar, he'd go to the stool and just, like, pick it up and, like, slam it on the ground. Just, like, why is he doing that? And then D goes to sit on that chair and just, like, gives out on him. <laughs> <laughs> and then I think, uh... What is D's brother's name? I can't remember his name. Oh, God. I, the I character's just, name. I can't remember yeah, his I, name. I just... I know I fucking hate he, him. He took he took uh, credit for the stool given out. And Charlie's like, I, I, I fucking did that. What? <laughs> right. <laughs> like, but, uh, okay, another bit from that show I remember is, uh, it's, again, it's Dee's brother, whatever his name is. I can't fucking yeah, remember his name. And Dennis. Dennis. Dennis, okay. It's Dennis and uh, Frank. Frank. And they both find the glory hole in the bathroom. <laughs> and so they both try to stick their dick in it at the same time. <laughs> and can't. I love it. It's always funny. <laughs> I love it. And that's probably still to And then they walk out and realize it. I, it's still one of my favorite bits. Just it's like one was on one side and the other one was on the other yeah. side. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> I don't know why I thought it was like them trying to on the same side. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Which cracks me up because I don't think it's 
I don't think they have a unisex bathroom. <laughs> so, so huh. it was already inherently flawed and they both were just too fucking stupid. Huh. Because most establishments like that don't. Uh-huh. There is no, yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> they were just real dumbasses. They were just really dumb. Three of them it. owned the place. Actually, all of them owned the place and should have known that. They're just really fucking They're dumb. They're really dumb. The sun's getting real low, guys. Is it? Yeah. Sun's getting real low. You guys ready for the recap? Sure. Sure. You got, you got it all? Yep. Let's do our recap. We started out. First, talking about numbers, specifically even numbers. Oh, yeah. And numbers we like. Even numbers. Then we moved on to our topic of Shine Down, which we were on for a very short amount of time because then we switched to Rob Zombie. More human than human. Then we uh, started talking about Trapped in the Closet by R. Kelly. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And then we Tinkle went back. We went back to Rob Zombie, and I read a lot of lyrics. Oh, yeah, from fucking. Nosferatu pussy. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Teenage Nosferatu See, pussy. Teenage, Teenage Nosferatu pussy. Or that be T N P? Or is Nosferatu? TNP. It's one word. Yeah, Nosferatu. Okay. Oh, was a choice. We touched on Frozen briefly. Did yeah. we? Mm-hmm. He touched on it very briefly. I did. I touched okay. it this year. Uh, and we talked about the Boondocks. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. And then we did our derailer. Which our derailer was, how would you put a pineapple in your butt? Yeah, I lost. Yeah, Simon lost. I lost hard. I didn't realize there was like a, a competition here. <laughs> well, I just lost. I think regardless. Simon just felt the most pain <laughs> yeah, in this process. Then we talked about pooping in sinks. That, that was the catch to the, the one joke where it's like you had to get like bring back fruit, and, but you had to shove it up your butt. Yeah. It's like one guy like brought like grapes, other yeah. guy like an orange, and the other guy's like... I brought a pineapple. <laughs> that, that, that was the joke to the... Well, that was the punchline to that joke. Yeah. That's what it was. Then we talked about Walmart. Walmart. You guys talked about Walmart. You talked about all the good talked things about, Walmart. I, you yeah. were just like... Mm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Mm. I can't say nothing. And then we talked about the Olympics, and which moved into oh, Nazi gonna, Germany. I was going to say, you're going to skip over Walt Disney? Well, the... <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. I understand. Yeah, we're so. skipping over that one. Yeah. Uh, we talked about yeah. Captain America. Yeah. We, that way. You can kind of see how some of these flow at this point. Yeah. And then we talked about Marvel and uh-huh. Stan Lee. And then we talked about Ghost Rider. And we went to Futurama. We started talking about time travel. And I brought up Bill and Ted, which we didn't really spend much time on because we, we went right back to Futurama. Right. <laughs> Then we touched on Game Grumps a few times. Oh, yeah, a couple of air jokes. Rob <laughs> Schneider. <laughs> Which then we talked about Rob Schneider. <laughs> Rob Schneider. Then we talked about the song Your Love, which uh, yeah. Josie's on a vacation far away, which moved to Avenged Sevenfold, which is a very similar genre of music. Yes. I brought up that Ludo song next. Uh huh. Then there was Rob and Rob's Excellent Adventure. <laughs> is that actually what it was? The name of the show? Or no, oh, no, no, no. That, was, that was our dumb idea. <laughs> that was the, that was Rob Zombie with, and uh, uh, Rob Schneider. Rob Schneider. <laughs> I thought that was the fucking show's title because I don't know what the title of the show is. <laughs> Rob and Rob's Excellent Adventure. <laughs> I wouldn't doubt it though. All right, no, like a lot of it is just a car trip between the two of them, and they can't decide on a genre of music. <laughs> That'd be pretty fun to watch. Then next, we talked about Will Smith and the YouTube Rewind. Then we talked about uh, Always Sunny. <laughs> We're on that for a while. Well, if you like that, <laughs> right. you should oh. check out our other stuff, such as Caged or I'm Game or some of our oh, Gents Plays. Yeah. Gents play seems like it's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah. But if you like what you hear, uh, please do take the time and effort to check out our other stuff. Like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure to hit that notification bell. The Taco and Bell. Thank you. And this is us signing off. I'm Dakota. I'm Dong. And I'm Ding. (laughs) (laughs) All right. Goodbye. (laughs)